All right. Good afternoon. And I stand between you and lunch. Are you all hungry? Yes? You didn't have your tea break? Are you sure? All right. Now, my presentation is a simple one. After all the talking, I'm here to show you a life example, a case study. This case study is of our office, a rural office in Santa Clara. Now, Santa Clara is in the US. You know that, right? How many of you follow politics in the US? Do you know Mr. Trump? <laughs> he's a huge man, right? He's got huge hands. And he's a very smart person, OK? Um, but it's, it's interesting. I think a lot more people in the world may be smarter than him. Do you agree? <laughs> OK, cool. So let's uh, get into this quickly, because I am running a little short of time. So you heard the speakers ahead of me, and they all, you know, I think, stress on one thing. People have changed. The way we do things, the way we live our life has changed. And it's affecting the workforce. OK? How many of you, um, if you lose your wallet and or you lose your phone, okay, which one would you be more worried about? Okay, I'm going to ask you for a raise of hands. Which one would you be more worried about if you lose your phone or you lose your wallet? So I want to have a show of hands to those who say, I'm more worried if I lose my phone. Okay, good number. Now, the other question, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand again. If you say, I'm more worried if I lose my wallet, hands up. Okay, fewer. So, our phones are very important to us, right? Now, this survey here is about the workforce and how things have changed. So in 2009, most people were working in a static environment. They were at their desk, they had a computer, and they're happy. Okay? 19% they're mobile. They're the salespeople probably. They go out, you know, talk to customers and all that stuff. But today, 2015, well, it was 2017, so this is kind of a little dated. It's almost 48%. Mobile, so people are working off their devices anywhere, not just deskbound with a laptop. The other survey on the right is about the kind of work we do. Now, 2009, 72% says they work kind of solo, meaning as an individual. Now, we all work as a company, it's always a group of people, but sometimes the work we do is individual, meaning that I don't have to talk to somebody else to get my work done. I just get it done, I pass it to my colleague. That's it. But today, it's different. 48% says they're doing solo compared to 72, so a lot less. Most people need to collaborate. They need to discuss with their colleagues, they need to discuss with their partners before they get the job done. All right, so that's another interesting thing. The other thing is technology preference. Now, I'm sure in Korea, you guys will be, you know, heavy on Samsung, right? It's a very popular brand. I have a Samsung. It's actually attached to that laptop. Uh, obviously, Apple is a very strong brand too. Do you think Apple is more popular here or Samsung? Anyone? Uh, you think? Any feedback? Samsung? More popular here? Yes? Okay, cool. People have Windows, people have iOS, and people have Android. And people work off apps that are cloud hosted. If you look at Dropbox, you look at uh, Skype, you look at you know, Office 365, they're all cloud-hosted. We live and die by apps. 
We have an app for everything. You have an app for your subway, right? Yeah? I know, I know you have an app for subway. Do you have apps for shopping? Yes? What else do you have? Do you have an app for um, your what is that? alarm clock, right? You have an app for alarm clock. You have an app for calculator. I mean, when you do anything, you just need your phone because you've got all the apps on that phone. Heck, my wife even has an app for pregnancy, right? She's pregnant, but she uses an app to fig, you know, figure out when's the best time. Now, the, the only thing is that you know, I work every day, okay? So the ability to work freely from any location has become part of our lives, all right? And that's kind of changing, you know, the way we like to work. So when we shifted to the Santa Clara office, we adopted our own philosophy, okay? We use our own products. We created a streamlined visitor experience, okay? We created a seamless collaboration tool that allows us to freely or get a, get a meeting room and you know, discuss with colleagues and get a video call going. We created an app that is location aware. And all that gives us the ability to understand how our workspace is being used. Okay? So let's get into each of them. Now, when you go visit a company, all right? You have to sign in. You have to go to the reception and you have to, you know, pass your name card, pass your ID or something like that. And then you get a badge and then you can go and meet your, you know, your supplier or your vendor or something like that. Okay? In Aruba, we used a partner solution called Envoy, which is integrated to our Aruba ClearPass system. And what that does is that allows the guest, when he comes in to the front desk, to the reception, just on the iPad, sign in. Okay, he provides his driver's license. The iPad takes a picture of the driver's license. So he doesn't have to fill up a paper form. And when that is done, the Envoy system sends a SMS notification to the host, to the people you're meeting, telling them, that your guest is here. And then the guest himself, because he fills up his uh, mobile number, he gets an SMS with the guest Wi-Fi account. So that makes it really easy because the first thing people do when they get to a new location is, do you have Wi-Fi? That's the first question people ask. Next, meeting rooms. Now, I'm not sure if you work in a company big enough um, that has a lot of meeting rooms that you, you kind of, you know, struggle to get hold of. In some companies, this is a problem. So, we use a partner solution together with our Meridian platform. And this solution uh, is a company called Event Board or Team, T-E-E-M. And I'll do a demo for you in a short while. That allows us to book meeting rooms from an app. So there's an app for meeting room booking. So you can see which meeting rooms are available, what facilities are in the meeting room, how many people can the meeting room take, and you can book it from the app. Okay? And that allows us to monitor the room occupancy. So we know how our meeting rooms are being utilized. All right? Then obviously, we introduce wireless projection so that when we get into the meeting room, when we want to project something on the screen, it becomes easy. I don't have to you know, pull cables and switch screens and stuff like that. Okay? So that makes things easy for people to get together to collaborate. Now, part of that collaboration is with Skype calling, video call or conference call, or audio call mostly. So that is important and it requires an infrastructure that is capable, that is 
robust enough to be able to support that call to provide good quality. Okay? The most frustrating thing in an audio call or a video call is, sorry, I don't understand, your audio is broken. That kind of a interaction. It wastes our time, right? So to achieve some of these stuff, we actually built our own campus app. And this campus app allows us to do a few things, right? We get information about the campus, especially for new employees, uh, and even useful for old employees, uh, and I'll show you in a while. Okay. And this is built on our Meridian platform. We use our own Meridian solution to build our own app. And employees use this app to get information about the office and find their way around. Okay? So this is useful if you have a fairly sizable real estate. Now, part of that function is to find your friends or your colleagues. So if you want to know where your colleagues are, obviously, typically, we would text them and say, hey, where are you? We want to go for lunch? Now, what easier way can it be by just turning up that app and look for your friends on that list? That would be great, right? Okay. Now, with that app and with the Wi-Fi infrastructure that we put in our own office, we then had the ability to actually track usage space usage, facility utilization. And I'll show you a, a live demo as well in a while. And that allows us to understand how people are using you know, different spaces. Okay. So I'm going to switch my screen over to my phone. There you go. So that's my phone, and it's live. Okay. It's actually uh, showing the campus app. So this campus app is a Santa Clara office. And I'm going to just run through it just to help you understand what we can do, what kind of information we can get from this app. Obviously, a lot of it is informational and is useful information because if I want to know what to eat, I can look at the local eateries and understand what choices I have. Okay. Nearby attractions, what can I do when I'm at the office? Okay. From an employee perspective, this app will allow them to get access to services that they typically use when they are at the office. So if I need to print a document, I need to know which printer I, I can use, so the copy rooms allows me to look at the printers on the various floors and know that if I print to that printer, where is that printer? Because sometimes it's just hard to figure out where the printers are. So I can view on a map. And this is linked to our Meridian system. So we know where that printer is. In a while, you get a location for that printer. And then I can find my way to that location. Obviously, I'm not there right now, so it won't show me the way. Okay. All right. And if you don't get paid, that's a time where you need to complain to the human resource, right? And that's a pretty serious thing if you don't get paid. So we have a link to the human resource uh, service where you can directly submit a ticket. And this is great, right? IT help desk. This is another area as an employee we typically use because if my computer breaks down or if I trouble, have trouble accessing the network, I need to be able to report it to IT. So the ability to submit a ticket from the app is extremely useful. So basically, these app is, is really helpful for an employee and it increases our productivity and the ability to you know, get things done quickly. Okay. Now let me switch over to Team. So this is the app that I use for booking meeting rooms. All right. And this is linked to our Meridian platform as well. So over here I have a list of upcoming events 
and I have a meeting at 2 p.m. today, and it's in a room called Studio. So this is actually a live system in, a, in my Singapore office, actually, uh, but it is the same app that we use in the Santa Clara. Uh, and if I want to know where that Studio room is, I just simply need to hit the Location button, and it's going to give me the route to that meeting room. So it, I, I need to move along that path, and then turn left, and then turn right, and turn left again, and I'm there at the studio. So if I need to get to that meeting room, I have a way to get to that meeting room. If I want to book a room, then I can do it straight from the app without having to talk to anybody. Okay, I can say, okay, I'm going to schedule a meeting for, let's say, today, but later in the afternoon. Uh, let's try 5 p.m. Okay, and that's uh, 5 to 5.30, half an hour. Let me make it a one-hour meeting. Hit next. It's going to present me with a list of rooms. And as I have the ability to know which rooms are available and also what kind of room it is. How many people can that room take? What sort of facilities in that room? Let's say room one, you look at it. It's got Ethernet, it's got HDMI, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got display port, it's got a microphone. I can see all that. So I'm gonna pick the breakout room, because all I need is a whiteboard, and that comes with a whiteboard. And I could actually invite my colleagues if I want to. Okay? So these are the lists, uh, list of people that I could get on that meeting. But let's just say I'm going to you know, uh, not do that and just save the event. All I want to do is to book the room. Okay? And when I'm done, that's my 5 to 6 p.m. meeting. So this is really useful because when I get to the room, the system will know that I'm actually in that room. So how does that happen? Let me switch my screen again over to here. So this is actually a live heat map of our Singapore office. Okay, So I'm showing you some stuff from the Singapore office now because I have access to it, and it's live. Those blue dots there are actually Wi-Fi devices that the system, the Wi-Fi network, the Aruba Wi-Fi network is detecting. Okay, And it's detecting devices in various areas. Okay, now, you, obviously, you won't know the layout here, but there's an office over here. There's a reception over here. Okay, there's a meeting room, two meeting rooms over here, three meeting rooms, four meeting rooms. That's the studio room, and this is the dining area. Okay. So this allows us to understand how people are moving within our space. And I could even do a playback. So this will let me know on the 19th of June, which is yesterday, and that's a Monday, right? I could play back from, let's start the time clock from 3 a.m., okay? Obviously, 3 a.m., there's not going to be anybody there, okay? It's 5 a.m. now, 6 a.m., 7, 8. Now, you get people gathering around different parts of that space. Okay, and as it comes down to 3 p.m., people, uh, lesser people, 5 p.m., people start to go home. So we actually can see how that space is used. And this is really interesting, especially for retailers, hospitality, because it allows you to monitor where are the hotspots, so to speak, the popular areas where people gather. Okay? All right? So... That's pretty much what I have for you. I hope you enjoy your session. And time is just about right. I give you a little early uh, break for lunch. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right.